This week we're going to be doing a McCall and mainly I picked it because of the colors and I've always wanted to paint a McCall and I haven't really ever done one. So I am um, going to use my bright colors. We're going to use our, our tools and our colors that we used before. I'm going to start out with wetting the top of his, his head with clean water and we'll stretch it down all the way down into his his belly area as you can see he's sitting looking to the left and I'm going to take a little bit of the cadmium yellow oh no gamboge so I'm going to put a little bit of that in his breast area it's the I'm going to pick up a little more water and if you're using your photograph for a reference, you can see that this goes all the way down into this area down into here. But we're going to let it kind of fade away and once again do the, um, the splattering and all that good stuff. So that goes into his face and comes down into here. Okay. So. Let's just do that. Take some of the water out of the brush. And then I'm going to go in and wet his forehead and up into his top of his head. Lots of water. Now I'm going to come in, first of all, with my hooker's green. And I pre-wet the colors with a drop of water just so they would soften up somewhat. So we're going to put in a little bit of that green. Now remember the colors dry about 50% lighter. So I'm going to rinse my brush out. I'm going to come in with a strong color of the magnesium blue. And just go right into that area where that is. Now the thicker the paint is, the less it will move. So we'll put a little bit of that over in here. We want some of the edges to be soft. So I'm going to take my damp brush and just soften some of those edges with a little bit of water. Just so it bleeds out a little bit. Now while it's still nice and wet, I'm going to come in. have a couple of white spots. Okay. If you notice, I have a little bit of a jagged edge over here. Then I'm going to come in and wet this area in here. And I'm going to drop in some of that magnesium blue. And it actually just goes right into, maybe pick up a little more color. Let that kind of be soft around that edge. And think about the feathers. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the uh, ultramarine blue, which is, I'm going to put over here, but this color over here. And maybe a little bit of that right in there. Now, I can pick some of that up and make it run. I'll give, maybe a soften the edge over here. So it's not quite so. And maybe we'll add a little bit of purple in there where some of the shadows are. Maybe I'll drop in a little bit of the a little stronger green in there. So I'll get some of that texture. I'll also pull out some of that color back here for his feathers. And I'm going to soften that a little bit. Now I can take some of that color out. I'm just softening the edge with a damp brush. I'm going to splatter a little bit of water. Give me some texture in this. 
maybe a little bit of the blue. Let's see if we can't add a little bit of that yellow in there. Pick up some more of the yellow. Now that's pretty wet. So, so all the colors I drop in are going to bleed into the colors. Maybe let's drop in a little bit of this orange. It really doesn't have any orange on, but we can add some of the cadmium red. And that's going to be, now I've got a puddle, so I can pick that up. I don't know if you could see that puddle or not, but let's do that. While we're at it, we'll just add some more water. Let it bleed down. There we go. We want that edge to be really soft. Yeah. So I'm going to go in and just soften that a little bit, that edge a little bit. Because that's going to be white. We may come back in with our wash. I've got a couple white spots here or there. So just softening some of those edges. Maybe pick up a little more purple. Remember, the less water you have in the pigment, the less it will move. So I'm going to put a little bit of that purple in here. Because it's kind of the feathers. If you look closely at the feathers, Let's just pick it up and let it bleed a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up a little stronger blue. This is a little bit scary, but remember, it's a small piece of paper, and only you're going to see it. Um, I really like playing around with these strong colors. Now... The, the face and the beak is all a really dark, so I think I'm going to mix up some ultramarine blue. And you're probably saying, well, why don't you use indigo? Well, indigo bleeds so bad, I may come back in and touch up at the very end with some indigo. But it's such a strong color, and it, it bleeds. It's like wherever you put phthalo or wherever you put indigo, it's going to bleed and cause your problems. So I think I'll just use a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the burnt sienna, the ultramarine blue. Mix that really strong gray. Drop in that and then come in. And if you notice, I'm just adding a little bit of that. It's not real dark. It looks probably pretty dark on that video, but it's, it's going to dry about 30% lighter. And we may come back in later and touch it up with some of the indigo. So we've got, take some of the paint out, and he's got a really sharp pointed beak there. And then we've got the bottom, and there's a little bit of a white area right there that's underneath, and I'm looking at the shape. Mainly you gotta talk about shapes. So use your photograph for the reference, and then it goes in like right here, then it comes in down here, and then it comes up like this. Now we've got his eye, and I'm looking at the photograph, and the eye looks like it's kind of a hooker's green, maybe. And we can do that whole eye in that color, and then let this dry, and we'll come back and do the details. Now you could use your little brush. And so I think I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll turn the camera back on in a few minutes. Welcome back to the summer series. I'm going to just add a few more details here and there. He um, He's pretty much done. And I wanted you to see the colors uh, that are so bright. I love this new palette. And I think we're really going to have a fun summer. 
So enjoy this series. Just a little more detail in his face. Let me know what you think. Enjoy.